Oh man! Ah! That voice! Is that... I told you I haven't got the foggiest who you're on about. Shut up about it, will you? Went round with you on your travel, she did. What happened to her, lovely girl? You started with a P. Rhymed with something like, um, what? Hippopotamus! Give up, will you? Honest to goodness. Ah, now I remember! Oh, yeah? Alicia! That was it! Blimey. Wow. <sighs> Hurry up, man, they're on already! Look at that. They have a little stage and everything. Take that. Thank you and good night. Rubbish they are these days, man. How long is this going to go on for? This is embarrassing. It's like a dream, this is. Ain't it though? Ain't it though? Hey, speaking of dreams, I've always had a bit of a dream myself, you know. Oh, nice. Nice link, man. What it is, is, see, always want to run a little weapon shop, I have. A weapon shop, eh? Well, I don't know why you're bringing it up in the middle of a show, but sounds like an all right idea, that does. Ain't it though? Hey, do you fancy doing a quick practice with me? Huh? Practice? Yeah, man. I'll be the shopkeeper, see, and you, um, a zookeeper, right? And, uh, well, all your animals have run away. And your wife's left you. Oh, yeah. Make it easy for me, why don't you? I'm not a flipping professional actor, am I, you div? Come on, man, serious now. What do you want me to be? Uh, a lion tamer? Do, how is that any flipping easy, yeah? Can I just be my flipping self? Oh, no one wants to see that, man. No, I know you again. You're trying to give me something hard to do so you look better in it, though. Nah, man. I just thought you'd like a nice juicy roll to get your teeth into, ain't it, though? Juicy roll, eh? Well, I may not be a professional, but my widow Twanky's pretty legendary. Right on. So, I'm the customer at your weapon shop, right? And you were the proprietor of said establishment. All right, give us a moment. Ba 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 ma 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 ka 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 ka. Get on with it, man. And knock knock out, do cha ching. Clear off, cha ching. What the heck was that, man? We slammed the door in my flipping face. We're not open yet, are we? Not open yet, but flipping hurry up, Bill. All right, we're open now. Oh, you are, right. <laughs> knock knock, cha ching. How do? How do? I uh, just wanted to look at what weapons you got for your innit, though. Sorry, man, that's next door but one. What? No, it's flipping not. It's my shop. Yeah, you a weapon shop. You can't go telling me what I sell in my own shop. But you said yourself you wanted it to be a flipping weapon shop. It is a flipping weapon shop. Give me strength, man. All right, all right. Sorry, man. I'll do it properly now, I promise. It's a weapon shop. Good. Selling weapons. Exactly. Righto. Knock, knock. Cha-ching, how do? What weapons you got for you, then? What weapons you after, exactly? Well, I don't know, do I? Uh, what about, you know, one of them huge, great, choppy numbers? Yeah, a proper massive one of them, that's what I want. Uh, I'm afraid I cannot help you. No? Huh? You can't help me? You're the flipping shopkeeper, are you? I am sorry, sir. Huh? But that is just too big an axe. Flipping axe, that was rubbish. Made this one up in it, though. As if that would take much. Hey, 
One of you give us a like, will you, man? Launch command received. Launch command. Hold, Hold on to your hats. We have ignition. Ow! Three, two, one, blast off! <laughs> Is everyone okay? Uh, I think so. All ah. here in one piece? One pile more like. All right, no need to get in a tiz. It's the only way to get in here, innit? Oh, this takes me back. Look around you, my friends. This year's mummy's tummy where it all started. Right, oh. Come on, Littlies. It's time for the slidey ride of your tiny, tiny lives. <laughs> Well, don't just stand there, come on! Huh? <laughs> what the... what is that thing? Knickers! That rotter of a squid's got our kids! What the heck? The Littlies! No way! We already saved them once! Sorry, Ollie boy, but the future of the fairy race is at stake. Ah, do we have any choice? See? I don't like seeing them go to waste. You're a... a fairy? I am, and a proper tidy one at that. You talk funny. <laughs> That's how fairies talk, sweetie. But it's goofy. Oh, is it now? Well, I wish I'd known that before I made him for you. Nobody made him. He's my friend. Of course he is. I'm sorry. And I'm sure he'll always be your friend, no matter what. Come on now, don't be such a crybaby bunting. What would Mr. Drippy think? I'm not a crybaby bunting. Then you'd better dry those tears, hadn't you? Hmm? <laughs> Look at Mr. Drippy! Come on, don't go getting all soppy on me. Wait, I thought I told you to... Oh! Mr. Drippy! 
Aren't you forgetting someone? The Eye of the Storm. Until now, the use of this most ancient of magics was the sole privilege of the overseers of this world. Was it too much for you, perhaps? We granted you this privilege that you might finally dispose of the prophesied one. My apologies, your radiance. But the boy... He has a... Unique power. Perhaps. Or perhaps you simply lack the power to stop him. Perhaps... Apis. Forgive me, your radiance. Majesty, the boy is clearly protected by the most potent of magics. Could it be... The sage, Alicia? I had wondered, your radiance. She who was foolish enough to stand against you. You think she troubles us even now, in the present? The power that protects him would suggest so. But he will need more than the Sage's aid to save the world. He cannot succeed without the weapon of the Ancients, the wand wrought by the Wizard King. Mornstar. Indeed. But we have no cause to fear its power. He will not find it. I have made that impossible. Making a wand disappear is the simplest of parlor tricks, after all. You mean to say you have rid us of Mornstar? I have. The most enduring symbol of the Wizard King's rule now drifts free of time and space. Mornstar. Fashioned in the image of our own Council's wands and bestowed upon humanity. Yet now, a mere hindrance. You are certain the boy cannot possess it? Not now, nor for all eternity. Mornstar. Place. It's amazing. Yeah, it sure is something. So, this is how the other half live, is it? Proper swanky, this is. Oi, hmm? it's this way. Come on, get a move on! Okay, are you sure about this?
We won! Don't let him get away! This way, after him! Wait, wait for me! Oh, so, so hideous. Why am I so ugly? Someone's coming. Must hurry. <gasps> Who are you? But you must be. You're the prince. C correct. I am Prince Marcusan, ruler of Hanlin. And who might you be? Oh, you see, um... What do you think you're doing here? Huh? Oh, oh, no! Oh, oh my God! God! You mustn't! God! No! Oh, get away! Do not look at me! Get out of here, I say! You mustn't look at me! Go! Be gone! Wow. So the prince is the great sage. Got it in one. Just who in the world are you? Your Highness, you have nothing to fear. There's something we'd like to ask you. Something to ask me? Ah, I see. Now you know my secret. You mean to blackmail me. That's not it. We came to... We wanted... We need the great sage's help. Huh? Great sage? You mean me? Yes, of course we do. You were one of the great sages who protected this world, weren't you? I am sorry to disappoint you. It was my father who was the great sage. He passed away 15 years ago. But you inherited his powers, didn't you? The great sage's powers? <laughs> you should not believe everything you hear. I was never good enough. How could I be a great sage? Me, of all people. I have no gift for magic. Huh? But you... <sighs> I think you've been here long enough. No one asked you to come. Now leave me alone. Go! There's something iffy about that lad, I reckon. Do you think? No doubt. He's broken-hearted. But which piece of his heart is missing? What that boy's lost is his belief, like. Sure as eggs is eggs. His belief? That's right. Folks can tell him how blinking handsome he is till they're blue in the face, but will he believe him? Not a bit of it. Lost his belief he has in himself and everyone else. And he calls himself a prince. <laughs> That's a laugh. He's just a snivelling little wimp. Come on. Let's go find that piece of heart. Right. <sighs> He's more trouble than he's worth. I guess we'll be going then, Your Highness. I know that man. But from where? Just who in blazes do you think you are? And where in the world did you spring from? I will have answers. Huh? We could ask you the same thing. Mind your tongue, girl. You stand before an emperor. We'll take care of them, your majesty. <laughs> stand down! I must discover how they came to appear here. And I shall not rest until I have done so. It is my sworn duty to know all that goes on in my domain. Come! Bring them to my chamber. We have much to discuss. Sir! Uh, huh? 